Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in my last video, I mentioned that I had a cozy chair on the way. So I wanna show you all my updated cozy corner. I also added this bookshelf and I filmed myself putting it together. So I'm gonna show you that. So as you can see here, this is the new chair. Um, I really like it. The material, it's not super soft. Um, Theo is using it as a scratch post, unfortunately. So it kind of has a rough material, but for the price, and I just couldn't really find anything I liked, um, I am enjoying it. And I like that it swivels and it fits in the space pretty well. Um, I also got some cute little pillows to add to the chair. Um, I got both of these from Amazon. So this little daisy and then this little strawberry pillow. I added a pink blanket, so I'll be extra cozy. And then I think I showed you guys my mushroom ottoman. If not, well, let me show you everything on my shelves and my new ottoman. Okay, so on the top shelf, I got this strawberry vase. I want to add some fake tulips. Um, I think that'd be really cute, but I got that just because I'm in like a big strawberry phase. I just love strawberry themed things. I think they're really cute. And then I also have a couple books. I just picked out the books that kind of fit my colors in this room. So these are two special editions from Owlcrate. Um, the Unmaking of June Pharaoh and A Fragile Enchantment. I have not read either one yet, but I love the covers and I just think they look, they kind of tie into the pinks and whites of my room. And then on the second shelf, so then I have some more books here. Um, I have this little Wooloo clay that I made, this little Pokemon. So I have that sitting there. Just some more books, another special edition from Owlcrate. I added this pink lamp, and then I have my Kiki's um, mug box, and then I just have some of my handmade cards. I did order a bunch of frames, so I do plan on making that a little more filled in and not so bare, but that's my new cozy corner. But it's also my birthday weekend. I just turned 30, which is kind of crazy. So I did film myself book shopping. I bought a couple books for my birthday. So I'm going to enter those clips here and then I'll show you all of the books I got. Okay, so let me show you all the books I got from Target and Barnes and Noble. So let's start with Target. 
I got House of Salt and Sorrows. Whenever Barnes & Noble was doing their half-off hardcovers a few months ago, um, I picked up House of Roots and Ruin without realizing it was the second in a series. So when I saw this one at Target, I just picked it up, thought might as well. I can't read that one without reading this one. So I have no idea what it's about. So if you've ever read the series, let me know what you think. And then I'm halfway through Throne of Glass, so I went ahead and picked up Tower of Dawn and Kingdom of Ash. That way I had them on hand because I have no self-control and I'm impatient and I want to just have them when I am ready to read them. From Barnes & Noble, I got Empire of Storms because I did not have this one at Target. So now I have the whole series and I am ready to go. I am currently on Air of Fire and I am really enjoying the series so far. And luckily I have pretty much stayed away from all spoilers, which is really great. So whenever I see something about Throne of Glass, I just try and get through it really fast, but I'm enjoying it a lot so far. So now I have the whole series. Next is a Feather So Black. Um, I know a bunch of book subscription boxes did special editions of this one. And so when I saw it at Barnes & Noble, I just went ahead and picked it up. I'm pretty sure it's a romanticy, which is my favorite genre. So I'm excited to read it. I really have no idea what it's about. I prefer going into books pretty much blind, um, just knowing the genre. So I'm excited to read this one and I hope it's good. If you've read it, let me know if you liked it. And then last book I got is Half Blood. This is by Jennifer L. Armentrout. If you're a fan of romanticy, I'm sure you've heard of this author. She wrote From Blood and Ash. Um, she just, come out, just came out with one called Fall of Ruin and Wrath, which I really enjoyed that one. But I had never heard of her Covenant series. So when I saw this one, and it's like special edition with purple sprayed edges, I went ahead and got it. I don't really know much about this one. I haven't heard a lot about it. So I don't know if it's a brand new series or if it's just not super popular, but I thought it was really pretty and I loved the edges. So I got that. So those were all of the books I got for my birthday. So something kind of fun and exciting. I am sending a little gift package to Cozy K here on YouTube. I sent her a message on Instagram and asked her if she would like to try some of my stickers. So I'm sending her a little pack of single stickers, um, a sticker sheet, and a few bookmarks because I know that she also likes to read. So that's really exciting. I hope she likes everything I'm sending her. Okay, now I need to make some stickers for an order. So let's go ahead and do that. I do get a lot of questions on how I make stickers, how I laminate, and I do have full videos over on my channel, so you can go check this out if you wanna learn more, but I'm just gonna laminate these on hot, and then we'll be ready to cut them out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one very soon.